Welcome back to CBTV. I'm Sol. And I'm Aiden. And, and we, we are, are your CBTV anchors. First, we would like to wish Julian, Autumn, Angel, Olivia, Caprice, Stephanie, and Jeremiah a very happy birthday yesterday. Happy birthday to Symphony, Nick, and Elizabeth today. Please come to the office to claim your birthday pencil after CBTV. Here's the question of the week. How far is the sun from, from Earth in miles? Please put all b answers in the orange box in Mr. Tom's room. A winner will be announced Friday on TV TV. Now let's, next, let's take a moment to listen to this week's secret sound. Can you guess what this is? Put all answers in the blue box in Mr. Tom's room. The winner will be picked on Friday. Next, we have rain as for today's weather. We finally got some much needed rain to cool things down in central Indiana. Look for temperatures to fall in the 50s this evening. Tomorrow we are looking at temperatures in the 70s. Look for it, look for lower humidity to stick around for a couple of days. Have a great day, Cassie students. Back to you anchors. It's not too early to start planning for Crestview Night at Chili Verde. The event will take place on August 31st. Come and eat at Chili Verde and help raise money for Crestview at the same time. We hope to see you the evening of the 31st. Do you know the fundraiser includes over 235 products? Look for the look on page 19 of your holiday wishes catalog and mystery grab bags on you, you get 24 through 28 dollars worth of products in the catalog of your choice for only 12 dollars next we have sarah with today's sports moment the big story in indiana sports this afternoon is surrounding paul george it is believed that the lakers contacted george in some way while he was under contract with the pacers this is against the rules of the nba Right now, the NBA is investigating the Lakers. If found guilty of the contract tampering, the Lakers could face a fine and loss of upcoming trades. We will have to wait and see. For your sports moment, I'm Sarah. Back to you, anchor. Next, we have Today in History. Today in 1762, Anne Franklin became the editor of the Merc Mercury of Newport in Rhode Island. She was the first female editor of an American newspaper. In 1906, the Victor Talking Machine Company of Camden, New Jersey, began to manufacture in Victrola. The hand-cranked unit th with horn cabinet sold for $200. And in 1932, the BBC, British Broadcasting Incorporated, began its first TV broadcast in England. Today's thought of the day, today th thoughts of the day comes from comedian and night show host James Corden, who is turning 39 today. He says the one thing you gotta do is that you need to always do what the best you can, no matter what, no matter what the given situation, no matter what comes against you. You do the best you can and never give up, never quit. Next we have Miss Brown with a special announcement. Thank you. Yes, I want to start with recognition first. Yesterday, students, you were so safe and responsible while viewing the eclipse. It was awesome, and I could tell you were in awe when you discovered it in the sky. Thank you again for being safe and responsible. Reminders, students, teachers are writing objectives for you. Objectives help you understand the focus of the lesson so you know exactly what you're going to get better at today in math or what you're going to keep be practicing today in music or reading. So pay attention to those objectives so you know exactly how you're growing your brain. Back to you, anchors. Thank you for listening. I'm Sol. And I'm Aiden. Have a great Tuesday. Take care of yourself. Stay responsible, respectful, and safe. And, and remember, remember to find your voice in today's, today's world. world.